So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and today I would like uh, to do another product review. I would like to review uh, this uh, mobile phone adapter. It is called the Lab uh, Cam Ultra and it is a mobile phone adapter for the iPhone. In this case I've got the iPhone 11 connected here um, and I would like uh, to also thank the company who sent uh, the adapter to me. Um, I'm not paid uh, to do this review. I got the adapter free of charge. However, there are no conditions attached and I'm able to completely uh, tell you my opinion about this adapter and I have to tell you well it's a pretty good one um, and I think it's uh, actually one of the best uh, mobile phone adapters uh, uh, so far that um, um, yeah I was able to review. Um, so let's uh, give you a sh first a short uh, overview here. One of the big unique features is is that um, yeah it contains in built-in optics uh, so that is uh, something very unique um, and this um, allows you to have a very large field of view and over here you can see that um, this is a resting place place for the second eyepiece uh, so this keeps uh, the camera horizontal and therefore um, I think uh, that's a very good uh, yeah, good thing because uh, you can now keep uh, the camera the mobile phone camera attached and you can now use it yeah as um, instead of your eyepieces even at the end of the video I'm going to um, also tell you um, I think uh, the biggest advantage and also the biggest disadvantage um, of this adapter so you might uh, yeah want want to watch until the very end of this video but I'm going to now start unpacking um, the box so let's uh, start uh, unpacking uh, the adapter. It comes in a very nice box. Uh, here it is the box. Of course, there are also some links uh, to social media sites uh, on the box and some general information. And uh, the box is of very high quality. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, it uh, does even uh, contain uh, a magnetic lid. Um, so it allows you to uh, repeatedly store away the adapter without any problems. Yeah, let's uh, open the box and let's have a closer look at its contents. Uh, yeah, everything is nicely packaged here. We were immediately greeted uh, with an instruction manual yeah, on how to use the adapter, but actually it's uh, quite self-explanatory. Anyway, some microfiber cloth uh, for cleaning. This here is uh, silica gel to keep everything dry and some cotton swabs also for cleaning. Yes, and something unusual. Well, the adapter contains integrated and built-in optics. That's something very unusual for uh, a, a mobile phone adapter. And there are also, um, yeah, these uh, tubes uh, made of metal um, so that you are able to fit your adapter to different uh, types of uh, microscopes. I'm now connecting the 23.5 millimeter, um, yeah, eyepiece uh, adapter here and therefore I'm able to now uh, put it into pretty much uh, any microscope, uh, compound microscope that is uh, that I want to use. So let's have a few closer looks at the adapter here. It is made of solid plastic with the exception of course of the optics and uh, therefore because it's uh, so solidly built uh, of course there's no danger of the mobile phone falling out um, of the adapter and it, there's also no need to actually physically clamp the mobile phone into the adapter and everything is of course also pre-centered so there are no adjustments necessary so let's put in the iPhone the iPhone 11 as you can see here you just simply uh, push it into the adapter and uh, friction holds uh, the mobile phone um, in place yeah, and there is absolutely no danger of it uh, falling out. I first uh, connected the mobile phone um, adapter to my stereo microscope uh, to have uh, a first look here and as you can see uh, yeah it rests on the right eyepiece and therefore the mobile phone is uh, kept horizontal. This here is now the view through my stereo microscope and we're looking now here at a butterfly wing. You can look at the individual scales. Uh, the zoom was an optical zoom not a digital zoom and as you can see it looks, uh, looks quite nice here. This this is my finger, is some skin under the microscope um, as well. And uh, yeah, the mobile phone um, adapter, because of its optics, uh, basically gives you a very good feel of view and one that almost fills up uh, the complete uh, screen. Yeah, and the contrast is also quite nice as you can see. Yeah. So this is now the adapter fitted to a compound microscope uh, here. Um, and uh, the principle is of course uh, pretty much uh, the same and uh, you can of course as you see here use the mobile phone also um, as a viewing um, as a viewing screen. Uh, the controls of the mobile phone um, are easily accessible so you can see that the button of the mobile phone on the top is easily accessible. Of course you can also pinch uh, and zoom um, to get different um, yeah, fields of view. Yeah, and uh, how does this now look uh, under the microscope? Here it is again. That's an ant. It's a commercially prepared slide uh, of an ant. And as you can see, it looks uh, looks very nice. And I have to tell you that uh, 
Yeah, I think uh, that this mobile phone adapter indeed is one of the uh, better adapters that I have seen because also everything is uh, pre-adjusted and aligned. Here also some moving images, a rotifer um, as taken with the iPhone and uh, this uh, adapter here. As you can see, a very usable and a very nice and, and practical result. So now let's talk a little bit about the biggest advantage and the biggest uh, disadvantage um, of uh, this adapter and it might surprise you a little bit because it's the same advantage and the same disadvantage and that is you're bound to an iPhone. This is a disadvantage if you have other mobile phones um, because of course, uh, yeah, it, as you can see, it fits uh, tightly and snugly um, into the iPhone and uh, therefore you do not have to do any centering, you do not have to do any adjustment. Um, yeah, everything is pre-adjusted and this gives you a very reproducible um, image. So that is uh, yeah, basically the advantage at the same time also the disadvantage and um, the iPhone does have a very good image quality and video quality. Um, so you are able not, of course, not only able to take pictures, but you can also take 4K video with the iPhone 11. Um, that's not uh, easily possible um, otherwise. And um, if you use a standard um, uh, high definition, um, then you can also do um, slow motion videos because it has a very high frame rate and therefore you can slow down a very fast movement. Um, so in case if you want to uh, document fast moving microorganisms, I mean, honestly, um, with a USB camera that's connected directly to computer, uh, this would not be possible um, because the USB connection is simply too slow. Um, but here, um, yeah, essentially, you see that uh, everything is, is nicely um, saved into the iPhone. Yeah, so you see that uh, I can highly recommend it. Um, there is a link in the description uh, below um, if you uh, want to, um, yeah, essentially uh, uh, buy it. Um, so, and uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, you can leave your comments uh, as well if uh, to share your own experiences uh, with this adapter um, if you have any experiences. And I'm going to simply now wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.